What is up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrea and in this channel we talk everything about interior design. So if that's something that you're interested in too, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my content. Guys, today I'm gonna tell you five things that I think everyone should have this year. And guys, the world is crazy right now. We all know this, we are all in the same boat and it just seems like this is never gonna end. Which is why today I'm bringing you five things that you need to have in your home for 2022. Without further ado, let's begin. Okay guys, so the first thing that I think everyone should have in their home is a bar. I don't know how it is in your city, but for example, here in Vancouver, since COVID hit, they open and they close their restaurants every six months at least. So it's very uncertain whether you can go to a restaurant or to a bar, to a pub, to a nightclub. I think that at this time it's much needed to have a bar at home somewhere at home when we can just have a drink invite some friends over only small groups allowed please having a bar or a little area at home when you can have all your drinks is starting to become more common every day and it is such a cool thing to have there's two ways to go about this the first one is to have a built-in bar in your home and this can require a bit of an investment but i think it's such a good thing to have and it's such a good investment for the long run, even if you're planning to sell your house in the future. For a home bar, you can have a sink, some space to put your drinks, your wine, depending what you drink, you can have something more custom. You can have open storage, you can have closed storage, you can make it glass, you can make it wood. You can do all sorts of things. Now, if you don't want to invest that much in having a custom built-in cabinet for your drinks, you can also get those freestanding cabinets. There are ones that are so beautiful and you can get them in all sizes. They don't take up too much space. And I think it's also a really nice way to display your drinks and your glasses. Who knows what's gonna happen to the world? Having a bar is such a cool thing that I think we should start considering when it comes to our homes. So the second thing that I think everyone should have at home is a home office environment. And hold on, I'm not saying that you should have a home office because you probably already have a home office, especially if you're working from home. But what I'm talking here is a home office environment. And let me explain myself. I don't know if this happened to you. If you're working from home, you get up, you don't even change your pajamas. You just sit on the computer, you start working, and you're just feeling like, like you don't wanna work, you know? For some people, it's just so hard to work from home because you're not in the working mood and like, it just feels like you just wanna go back to bed. Your mind is not in a working environment. And what I recommend everyone who's having a hard time working at home, guys, it's not about the work, but it's really about what is surrounding you. So get up, dress up as if you're going to work, do your makeup, do your hair, spray some lotion, you know, sit on your desk, have everything organized, buy a nice desk, have a plant by your side, have a nice lamp with good illumination, put some background music, you know, put yourself in a working mood and working vibe so that it's easier for you to just concentrate and focus on your work. And it can be really hard to do this, especially if you're at home and who's gonna look at you? You might think like, oh, it's really not worth it to just take a shower and do my hair, my makeup, dress nice. We should start doing these things for ourselves because it really will change how you do your work. You won't have this laziness, you know, of, oh, I just wanna go back to bed. So I encourage everyone to give this a try dress up as if you're gonna go to work. We have to start doing everything to enjoy our life at home rather than, oh, I'm just staying at home because I have no other option. You can still be at home and feel great about yourself and be productive and make the most out of your day. The third thing that I think everyone should have at home in 2020, 2020. I think everyone should have life in their home. This is very connected to the point before we are spending a lot of time at home. So making your home feel alive, I think it is very important. And in the past, probably it didn't matter that much because you're all day at work and you really just come home at night and then you leave in the morning. But now we live our lives so differently and having a home that feels alive is very important. How are you gonna do this? You can buy plants to bring life into your home. 
get a candle to have a nice scent, nice smell in your home. You can also get those, um, how do you call the psh psh ones that you spray and it smells really good in your home. Get something that you like, you know, make yourself a good coffee, bring up the curtains, open the window, let some air circulation, you know what I mean? It's just about feeling comfortable and enjoying your stay at home. It's very important that you feel comfortable, that you feel like you're in your home and you don't want to go out and by the way, you shouldn't. If we all do this, it'll completely change our way of staying at home and actually enjoying our stay at home. This one is one of my favorite ones and it is having something that tells your story. So in order to do this, you just have to think about what you like, you know, what are you passionate about? Is, it, is there a way that you can actually display something that you do or something that you like, something that tells who you are, something who tells where you're from? And I do know that a lot of us have decor items in our homes. They don't really have a background uh, story. Having something in your home that tells who you are, what do you like, what are you passionate about, where are you from, it's really interesting and it's really nice, especially when you have people coming over and they look at something and they're curious about it. I think it even opens the conversation and you can actually express who you are through your items and through your decor pieces in your home. So to do this, you probably just have to focus on a small space or small area in your home and dedicate it to pieces that are very much you. For example, if you are into biking or if you're a photographer, if you have a hat collection, if you are into vintage stuff, if you are into the filmmaking industry, if you're passionate about plants or about flowers, if you really like butterflies, I don't know, if you like birds, literally, there's a million things that people like and that people are passionate about and a lot of the times we don't really know until we actually go into someone's place and if they actually have space when they show themselves and when they can say like you know what this is what i'm passionate about this is what i like this is where i come from this is what i do this is what i love to do this is my hobby you know you get the point all i'm trying to say is having something that connects you as a person to your space so that when you look at it, you can see it with joy, you know? Every time that you pass by, you kind of have this living memory or it reminds you of what you like. The point is have something that speaks to you and that really means something to you. The last thing that I think everyone should have is dim lights. We work at home, we cook at home, we wash at home, we shower at home i hope everyone showers at home our working life it just becomes one with our personal life for many of us so having said so i want to say that changing from a working environment to a home environment within your home is more than just getting up and shutting down their computer it's just more than that and if you really want to change that vibe from a working vibe to a more you know relaxing vibe you're just if you're just done for the day if you just want to relax you want to read a book watch a movie having lights that dim is very important and they will really help you to change that mood or that vibe so the first thing that i would recommend is to have your actual uh pot lights dimmable so that you can just dim them whenever you want if you don't really want to make that effort of you know i just have to install a dimmer and too much work you can also have additional lighting types rather than you know your lights on the ceiling so that could be like a table lamp or some candles even if your bedroom you can have those led that are on the ceiling i have those and they are a completely different vibe you can have a floral lamp really nice sconces on the walls having different lighting types in your home it's just gonna make your home a whole new space. I think that's very important so that we switch the setting in your mind, you know, like from I'm no longer working to now I wanna relax. Now I just want some time for myself or for my family. So that is one thing that I think is very important to have nowadays. So that is a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. If these are things that you already have, or if there are other things that you may want to incorporate in your home 
this year. If you like this video, if you found it useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more interior design content every week. Yeah, hopefully every week. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.